everyone. Well, we're just finishing up our fifth, fifth lockdown here in Melbourne. And one of the tough things for me is I just really miss going to museums and galleries. Then I remembered, wait, Google Arts and Culture has digitized a lot of these museums and galleries, not just their artworks, but the actual gallery space. Why not do a virtual tour? So I figured we'd start with one of my favorites, the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. I haven't been there for like 10 years. Would you like to come with me? This is the first time I've seen everything, so I'm not gonna know about every work of art, but we can discover them together. I'm just figuring out how this whole thing works, so apologies in advance for my driving. Also, I can't guarantee I'll shut up, but you know, you can always mute me. Oh, oh, before we go, like and subscribe. You know the drill. Okay, let's go to Amsterdam. Here we have their landing page. Oh good, I'm a museum explorer. Okay, stop it. Um, there's some kind of highlights of their collections, but what we want to do today is we want to actually walk through the Rijksmuseum. So let's go to the ground floor. Okay, Google, I get that you're trying to gamify this and give me badges and stuff, but it's just annoying. Stop it. Okay. Now, as I've advised all the time, whenever you're in a gallery situation like this, most people are going to want to start with the nearest or the one on the left and work your way all the way around. But even virtually, we don't have that kind of attention span. So let's just pick something that looks interesting and go over there. So obviously, uh, this fabulous woman has caught my eye. Let's go over to her. Ooh. Oh, she's got that shaved, hugely high forehead, fashionable in the uh, late Middle Ages, early Renaissance. Ooh, now we're moved, okay. Can I see her close up? I want to see her. She's got a pretty background. Zoom? Ooh, yeah, there we go. Zoom. Huh. Zoom. Nice. Look at that. There's some deer. Just a little, oh, and some frolicking friar type people guy that's doing a get off my lawn gesture maybe okay now are we able to see the information there's a lot of vans this isn't super clear what is this dude one oh is this the rooms this is the rooms okay this is basement one and we're already zoomed in so it's like Freaking us out. That's the basement. Okay, there's. Oh my god, now we're in the corridor somewhere? How? What? How? Okay. I don't know where I am. Let's back up. Let's look around. There's some very pretty paintings. Oh, weaponry. Oh, damn it. Come on. How can I move around? Oh god, where am I now? Where's the weaponry? Take me to the weaponry. Okay, now, what do we got here? Oh, I guess, it, yeah, it is like Street View. Okay, um, no, I would, oh, because there's a little X on the floor. Okay, so we stand in front of it. And what, we can, we can zoom in? Ooh, muskets. Ooh, some chainmail gloves and some suits of armor and a fish. A fish? A horn that is a fish? What? Bundles and equipment stuck in. If anybody speaks Dutch, I'm really sorry about all this. But this, okay, so this one dude, 1830 to 1832, this is his... This is his uniform and his weapons. 
and he says, don't forget the fish with the teeth as a horn, because that will really frighten away any, I don't know, enemies who are allergic to fish. Oh, we've got the big old early 19th century high hat. Oh, and a little drum as well. Okay, this can't be all for one person. There's no way. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> like a ration of liquor, probably brandy or something like that. Yeah, because we definitely need that. We're going out into the cold. Oh, numerous kinds of flasks. There we go. Wow. Wow. So maybe this was just for one regiment or something. Oops, what did I do? Oh my God, stop. Stop. You know, I'm sure in the Google executive meeting when they said, hey, let's combine Street View with the world's greatest galleries and people were like, you are a genius. And even I would say that, you are a genius. But now I'm thinking, why? This is just, it's just harder to navigate, I guess. On Street View, you're not, you're just going in a straight line. But here you want to kind of stop and pause and look. And you've got this little box following you everywhere. Ooh, let's look at this one. What's that like? Okay, zoom, zoom. Oh, maybe that's the regiment. I recognize their hats. Do you think we'll be able to see the fish horn? Please, somebody be blowing the fish horn. Oh, come on. We need a fish horn. I don't see the fish horn. Okay. What's up top? Come here. I'm just clicking and dragging. It, am I doing it wrong? If I just click and drag, because it seems like I'm doing the clunky version and there's this gonna be the smooth, elegant solution that I have not figured out. Oh, this must be the military encampment and it was so funny back in back in the day people would go to war and then like their wives their friends society would follow them because god forbid the officers go three months without having a ball it was just the strangest thing so i guess maybe that's what what's going on here you got like, oh, it's the war. It's just something different to the normal season. I know, and I, I mean, I don't want to be flippant about it because it was violent and brutal and people did die, but there was also this weird social side to it. Yeah, it's very strange. Oh wow, that's cool though. It's cool that they have the visual evidence of it right next to the cabinet. What is that? It looks like something a drum major would use. Sorry if you're not American and you don't know about marching band accessories, but that's what it looks like to me. Oh, and the little epaulets for the shoulder and the braids, you know, show how important we are. Not very practical, but I, I suppose that wasn't what they wore for practical fighting. All right, where are we? It looks like we're on f the first floor. Okay, let's look around. What else do we see that's interesting? Oh, I like that woman's face. Come here, let's, t let's talk to you. Can we talk to you? Oh, you're just a girl. How pretty, look at that background. That's so pretty. Ooh, and green gloves. You don't see that very often, or at least I haven't. Um, let's zoom in. Charles Howard, that can't be her. That can't be her name, Charles Howard. Here he is. Portrait of Emma Jane. Oh, I'm really trying to read this, but it's hard. Hodges by Charles Howard. I can't read it. It's like an eye test reading these labels. Okay, so one of the things we've learned is that when you do the virtual museum tour, you might not always be able to read the virtual labels. There might be 
other labels like available online, but I don't know how to access those. I'm still learning. And apologies for all of you having to come along with me before I figured this out, but you know, it's an adventure. And how many adventures do we have in lockdown? Yeah, that's right, very few. Oh, that's a really beautiful landscape, look at that. Hung up quite high. But some of them were meant, you know, when they hang these things higher, sometimes the artist would know how high the art would be hung and they would kind of paint it to that perspective so that it looks right from the ground. Um, and other times it's just hung up high. Oh, here's, here's a little scene of intrigue. Let's go over here. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, you've got a big shiny light on your head. This is a problem with oil paints and modern lighting. <laughs> the lighting's so good, it kind of bounces off. So can we see, can we see you a bit closer? Uh, all right, well, we see two girls holding hands, two women, sorry. Uh, one's got a tambourine. The other has an unusual headdress. Maybe we're looking at, I don't know, a, like a Romani people, a roaming people, musicians or bohemians. Ooh, now I can play date the dress. Let's see. From this hairstyle and this kind of dress. Ooh, what are we thinking? 1850s? 50s, maybe? Late, early 60s? I don't know. Oh, do you know, let's go find the label. It'll tell me. You guys, this is why I'm so boring in museums, because I'm always dating things. And not that kind of dating, just dating. Well, of course I'm right. I've been playing this game since I was like 12. But, no, I could be wrong, of course. All right, let's move along and then we can see if we can see this guy's face. Because I feel like he, they're both looking at him. He is the key to whatever is going on here. So let's move along a little bit. Like he's looking at something above them and they're looking at him and they're holding hands. And he's, oh, he's playing, okay, he's playing some kind of mandolin-like instrument. Yeah, still don't know what's going on there, but it is interesting. And if I could read the label, I would probably know more. Now, I see that there are all of these things underneath. So maybe this is like a, takes you to a specific corner. Ah, it takes you to famous paintings. We did an Art Doctor Quickie on this one. Hey, this is one of the treasures of the Rijksmuseum of Vermeer. Um, oh, sorry, we didn't, do the, we didn't do the Quickie on this one. This is woman reading a letter. We did woman pouring milk, but they were both by Vermeer. And you can see there are only, I think something like 12 Vermeers in existence. And they're all quite small, look at this. Like, oh, there's the milk jug woman, that's the one we did. Yeah, so you can see how tiny they are. They're just really intimate, beautiful little pictures. There she is. And how small she is, just how beautiful and intimate. And how vibrant those blues kind of pop out at you across the room, even though it's such a small picture. Oh, I do love Vermeer. I mean, who doesn't love Vermeer? It's actually weird. Oh, another one. Oh, this is the, is this the wall of Vermeer's? This is a whole wall of Vermeer's. You don't know how incredibly rare this is. Well, actually you do because I just told you there are only like 12 Vermeer's around and to have four of them here. Just all in a row, number five. 
Wave that through the mirror. One, two, three. Oh, there it is. Oh, the milkmaid. Okay, well, what if I click on that? Oh, then it takes me to the little entry on. <sighs> Thank you for the badge. It takes me to the little entry on. Okay, then I can see it. Fantastic. View an augmented reality. How do I do that? Oh. You have to install the app. Okay, well, I'm on a laptop, so we're not doing that right now. But interesting. Thank you, that's interesting. And then, of course, you can zoom in. Of course, we've already seen, we've already seen this one. Let's go back to, ooh, nice pillar. Reich's Museum, nice series of pillars. Look at that, beautiful encaustic tiles. <gasps> I, wanna, I wanna see this room. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's go stay out in the middle of that room. Ha-ha. Oh, and the little galleries. Oh, how cool. And beautiful lighting. They've got skylights in each of them. This is such a fantastic and smart solution, when, um, especially before electric light. And, okay, so. Oh, and I see this leads directly down to the Rice Museum's most famous painting, The Night Watchers. So we'll get to that in a sec. And this tour on The Night Watchers. Tour, it's more like a tech tutorial with a halfway incompetent teacher. Look at that ceiling. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Can we, can we zoom? How zoomy can we get? We get really zoomy. Wow, that beautiful detailing. Look at that. That's so gorgeous. People don't bother with their ceilings anymore. Have you ever noticed that? We need to get back to kind of elaborate ceilings. Why? I, I have no idea. It's just because they're nice. All right. Okay, let's head down the hall into the night watch. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Also, nice tiles on the walls. I know that's not really what we're talking about right now, but I'm into that. Okay. <gasps> we'll have to come back. We'll have to come back when I'm halfway competent. Banquet at the Crossbowman's Guild in celebration of the treaty. Oh, it's fine. It's a celebration of the treaty of what? Of M Munster. Munster. Maybe that's indicating that there's no way in English we could pronounce it, so they're just going to leave out the letter. They're like, don't even try. Anglophones, don't even try. Okay. Oh, look at this. So they're having a banquet in celebration of a treaty. Oh, this guy must be partially responsible. Let's let's zoom in. Can we zoom in some more? Good. Oh, oh, that's as close as you can get. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for my badge. All right. Oh wow. Look at this guy. He's like, is he draped in the flag? He is. He's draped in probably his flag. Oh, little pair of booby moments there. We never never miss that opportunity when a group of gentlemen are gathered to have a little TNA. Um, can I just say how much I admire this guy's silk stockings? And he's eating something. I, I really want that to be an ice cream, but I know it's not. Look at that wine glass. That's awesome. <laughs> and of course, these would all be individual portraits. So they, um, you know, whoever was responsible for this momentous occasion 
everybody would pose for their own individual portrait and then the artist puts it together into this kind of semi-posed yet kind of supposed to be informal because they're drinking and celebrating um, image. Oh, and this lets us know. This lets us know where we are. Oh, we can navigate there. Oh, look at that. So 17th century, they had, you know, the leg wear, the footwear, like things below the knee. They had it going on. Look at this. This is double lace on this guy. Like, I can't even get my husband to wear slippers. And this guy's like, no, triple lace, please. And his spurs. It's nice. Nice touch there. Although you can imagine they get snagged. Wouldn't they snag his nice clothes? So you have to be really careful. Um, yeah, all these guys are looking to, oh, look, there's a woman. Oh, look, she's serving things. Oh, of course she is. Okay. Mm. All right. We have, we have a plethora of partying and there's a lot of hats and a lot of feathers in the hats. Um, oh, and there's, there's some ruffs. There we go. So this, the older guy's wearing the slightly older fashion, which you kind of, we, we associate with like Elizabethan period of like the big old lacy ruffs around the neck as if your head is on some sort of, um, I don't know, platter. But since then, the younger folk, you see, they've got these kind of, they've got lacy collars, but they, it's a little bit more flat. So that just kind of sits on their clothing rather than kind of pops up. But of course, lace making and lace in general was a hugely prestigious, um, it was a prestigious item to have of clothing. They were beautifully made, handmade, and very expensive. So of course, you'd want to show it off. Oh, and there's another old guy with a ruff. Hey, old guy. Couldn't move with the times. Couldn't get a new, like, cool flat collar, could ya? Oh well. We'll still paint your portrait, old man. And they've got, what else have they got down here? They've got a drum. A drum with, I don't know, stuff. Okay. I feel like this video is me saying I don't know what that is a lot, but you know what? Nobody knows everything. Even art historians don't know everything about art. Okay, well, you guys have fun at your party. There they are, partying. Um, right, and we were gonna go see the, the Night Watchers. Where are they? Is it in room three? Do these things change? Yes, there they are. Okay. The Night Watch by Rembrandt. Um, this is the one that everybody comes to see. It's one of Rembrandt's, Rembrandt's biggest, most narrative paintings. He's kind of, I guess now he's more famous for his, in our culture anyway, for his smaller drawings and his self-portraits especially. But this is... Um, this is a huge kind of dramatic scene. Look, there's flags, there's spears. There's a guy in the front with a very important looking collar. There he is. Yeah. Maybe we'll do an art doctor on that someday because there's a lot going on there. Okay, you guys, let's go back to the beginning. So I've now figured out that this will take you to various parts of the tour and mostly to like the highlights. So, and then if you get the box there, you can, there we go. Oh, look, another group portrait of guys. They're doing something important. Too bad women do, don't do important things. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted now. Okay, so now we know how to, 
navigate things. Hopefully my next video will be a little bit less me clicking around and like wondering out loud what the heck's going on. But isn't it nice that we can kind of tour the Rijksmuseum? It's really nice to see paintings in their context. I mean, even in a modern context. Where are they hung? How big are they? How do they look across the room? Um, all of those things, they're part of the art. And when we get a digital experience, we don't often get to experience that part of it. So thanks for coming to the museum with me today. Um, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here, but um, let's go again soon, okay? Have a great day, you guys.